Hello, and a very warm welcome to Ilkley Grammar School. My name is Carly Pennell, head teacher, and I'm delighted to be able to speak to prospective students and parents and give you a flavour of the quality of education on offer here at IGS. As you can see from our whole school vision statement, at Ilkley Grammar School, our overriding aim is for all students to enjoy an exceptional inclusive learning experience and for them to achieve everything that they're capable of, their personal best, right from year seven through to post 16 and beyond. As well as academic success, it's very important to us that students are equipped with the confidence, skills and personal qualities to make a positive difference to their own lives, but also to the lives of others, thus making a valuable contribution to society. Personal best is a phrase which you will hear a lot here at IGS and reflects our high expectations of every single student. Whilst we challenge and support all students to enjoy academic success and the fulfillment of their potential, we also want our young people, as well as being successful students, to be excellent friends and exceptional citizens who are genuinely able to make a positive difference through the lives they lead and the choices that they make. Our Thai attributes, which you can see on the screen here, focus on the qualities and characteristics which we seek to develop in our students through their time at IGS, so that they're able to form positive and respectful relationships, to be emotionally resilient and learn from constructive criticism and failure, as well as success, to be able to display sound judgment, to be independent and open-minded, and be able to act with courage, integrity, empathy and compassion. We firmly believe that if students are genuinely to be fully prepared to live and thrive, work and lead in tomorrow's world, then their personal development and the shaping of their character is of equal importance to their academic achievements, so they can be the very best versions of themselves and achieve and demonstrate their personal best in the very widest sense. So why choose IGS? We are a really caring school. We have a strong pastoral team with dedicated heads of year, student support managers and progress and experience leaders. We want our students to be happy and enjoy their time at IGS and we have a safe, compassionate and supportive school environment in which our young people are treated with respect, care and consideration for their well-being. As part of our commitment to inclusive education, we've also significantly invested in our provision for students with special educational needs. And in 2018, we opened a school resource provision for students with autism. We're also very, very successful. Students at Oakley Grammar School consistently achieve excellent examination results, both at GCSE and A-level. I will provide a few more details of our academic success later in the presentation. We're a school that looks forward. Whilst we do date back to 1607 and have a long and distinguished history of which we are very proud, we also have a modern and global outlook, embracing technical advancement as shown through our iPads for Learning initiative. We're very much aware that the next generation will be growing up in a complex and ever-changing world and some of them will pursue careers that are not yet even defined and will face unprecedented challenges, but also opportunities. We continually advance our curriculum so that it is responsive to student need and the skills for life and work in the 21st century. And we invest in the professional development of our staff so that we are kept at the cutting edge of educational development. As I've said before, our students are highly successful and not just because of the academic success that they enjoy. You only need to speak to them and meet them to see how well rounded, how respectful and wonderful young people they are. And we are an outstanding school, OK, but we're not complacent. We continually look to make improvements year on year and we challenge our students and our staff to excel and to aim high. So what did Ofsted say? Our latest Ofsted inspection back in 2017 confirmed us as an outstanding school in every aspect of our provision. 
Whilst I would encourage you to read the full report, I've selected a few highlights here. How teachers go the extra mile to make sure people, pupils achieve, feel cared for and thrive. How behaviour is exemplary, both around school and in the classroom. But at the heart of teaching are teachers' high expectations. And as a result, pupil progress is strong, not just for the most able, but also for those with special educational needs. And for our most vulnerable students, they are safe, they are cared for, they achieve well and attend regularly. Our success was also recognised in the Sunday Times Schools Guide back in 2018, with Ilkley Grammar School named as the top comprehensive school in the north of England. Whilst we are really proud of these accolades, I would also like to share with you the views of some of our parents and further examples can be found on the website under the positive feedback tab. For me, these examples here testify to the fact that students at IGS do flourish, not only academically, but also in terms of their personal development, growing in confidence and enjoying a wealth of opportunities. They also acknowledge the quality of our remote provision and the ability of the school to maintain its very high standards in terms of its curriculum and the quality of its teaching, even in the most challenging of times, alongside the importance that the school places on well-being and mental health of its students. But for me, in a nutshell, this communication received in August of 2021 encapsulates what Oakley Grammar School is about. Inspiring, hardworking teachers who are responsive to students' needs, a dedicated and supportive pastoral staff who are not only concerned about academic development, but the emotional and personal development of the students, as well as a wholehearted commitment from the staff to supporting students to achieve their personal best. As the founding school of Moreland's Learning Trust, we are very proud of our academic success and the GCSE and A-level results testify to the high quality of provision we provide. In exceptional circumstances, last year's GCSE results saw over a third of all grades at the highest standard, grades eight and nine, and um, over half of all grades at grades seven to nine, equivalent to the old AA star. As you can see here in 2019, which was the last year when public exams were sat, a quarter of all grades were at the highest standard, grades eight and nine, and over 40% of all grades were at grades seven to nine. Our attainment eight score of 63.9 this year shows that the average grade was between a grade six and a grade seven, with an average of grade six in both 2020 and in 2019. However, as much as we value academic excellence, what's more important to us is the progress that students make, regardless of their academic starting points. Our Progress 8 score in 2019 was plus 0.58. This takes into account students' key stage 2 starting points. This plus 0.58 score is well above average and comfortably placed Ilkley Grammar School in the top 14% of all schools nationally, including selective schools. And we would expect it to have been even higher in 2020 and 2021 had performance tables been produced. What this means, plus 0.58, is that on average, all students achieve more than half a grade more progress in every single one of their subjects than similar students nationally. And by similar, we mean of similar academic ability. Indeed, as can be demonstrated here, whether students struggle academically, whether they are more able, whether the middle ability, whether they are male or female, students on average at IGS achieve much better progress than students nationally. And in many cases, their progress is well above average. At A-level, and of course A-levels may seem a long way off, but we very much hope that your journey with us will be a seven-year one from year seven right through to post-16. Um, our A-level results are also outstanding. 
Now, our 2020 result, 21 results were exceptional, as can be seen here, um, but our results are consistently very strong, with our five-year average showing that 40% of all grades are at AA star and over 67% of grades at A star to B. However, as with GCSE, whilst we're proud of our attainment, and our attainment is again well above average, our progress is also outstanding, um, with an ALP score of 1 in 2020, equivalent to the very best scores in the country. Um, our three-year ALP score, which looks at achievement across three years, also places us in the top 20% of all schools nationally. Around 85% of our students progress to higher education, although some do take a gap year first, and with almost half of our university applicants securing places at Russell Group universities, including Oxbridge, prestigious drama schools and conservatoires. This year, eight students secured um, places at Oxford or Cambridge in a year when there were far fewer offers, and we're very, very proud of that. Whilst I could quote lots of statistics um, at you, and we are remarkably proud of those, we recognise that behind every number is an individual, um, and it's genuinely wonderful to see our students be proud of their achievements um, and have high expectations of themselves and of others. So just before I speak to the students, I just quickly want to run through um, some of the admissions details. Um, we did expand three years ago now um, to a 10 form entry, although we do actually staff the timetable on 11 tutor groups. Um, admissions is based on postcode um, due to straight line distance, which is measured from the front of school. It's not the feeder school, um, which is the key factor. Um, the admissions um, priority order I've put here on the slide with looked after children and those with an EHCP um, having priority and then it's those with siblings living in priority catchment one, those without siblings in priority catchment one, those with siblings in priority catchment two, those without siblings in priority catchment two and then out of area applicants based on postcode. We used to have a pan of 245, that's increased now to 300. So we do have 55 more places um, than what we had previously. And that will be the case again for September 2022. Um, we're now as confident as we can be that we can accommodate all students from Menston who would like to attend IGS. Um, as well as those living in priority one. And indeed, you know, our admissions at year six um, into seven and post 16 continue to be really, really strong. Um, and I think that's testimony to the school's increasing popularity, but also its positive reputation, not just in the local area, but across the wider Leeds and Bradford district. Um, this year, with our current year seven, nearly 240 students came from the six main primary schools within Bur Burley, Ilkley and Addingham. Um, although, as I've said, it's um, postcode and straight line distance from the front entrance, not feeder primary, uh, which is the determining factor. And we're welcoming increasing numbers of students from Menston, which we're absolutely delighted um, to see. And we have 30 students from Menston Primary this year um, and an increasing number coming to us from private of the private sector uh, with nearly 20 students this year um, in 2021-22. We are as confident, um, as I say, as we can be, that we can accommodate um, all, of all of the students in priority one and priority two. And indeed, we have gone over PAN, over our published admissions number for the last few years in order to enable all our families to get a place Whilst we can't guarantee a place, of course, um, I would urge you to speak to uh, Bradford Admissions, who run our admissions process, if you do have any more questions. And just to clarify, our priority to catchment area does now include the whole of Menston, um, including the High Roads estate. 
OK, so let me go on to talk to our students, um, our prospective students. What can you expect as a student here at IGS? Um, well, first of all, a wealth of opportunities to enable you to develop and to shine. Um, that's in lessons, but also in terms of extracurricular opportunities um, and the various clubs, which I'll talk to you about in a little more, bit more detail um, very shortly. Lots of help and support, both in lessons, at break, at lunchtime, but also online with being an iPad school and a challenge and an expectation for you to be the very best that you can be. In terms of your curriculum, your curriculum will be made up of an exciting range of lessons and they'll be taught by specialist teachers. Um, I think there are 16 different subjects in the curriculum in year seven um, and there'll be lots of opportunities for practical learning alongside more traditional lessons. Um, you'll learn, for example, how to handle and use a Bunsen burner, um, how to handle chemicals and prepare microscopic slides in science. You'll cook a range of products in food. You'll enhance your coding skills in computing. Um, you'll develop your creativity in subjects like art and music and drama and technology. And in PE, you'll swim in the pool, you'll run on the moors, and you'll develop your skills in a whole range of um, sports. And at the end of year eight, you will actually be able to make some decisions about your curriculum going into year nine. Um, I won't go into much detail now, but we do offer a bespoke curriculum in year nine where we introduce a range of new subjects that students can also choose from, including business and law, computer science, engineering, and a second language. Um, and that process enables students to make informed decisions going into GCSE and beyond, although we do not start GCSEs early in year nine. And you'll have a really varied timetable. We have a six period day, except on a Wednesday, which is a five period day, um, when you finish slightly earlier at 2.30. Um, but that means that there'll be a range of both single and double lessons to vary the learning. You'll also, in terms of what you can expect in the classroom um, as you can see from all these words here your lessons will be engaging challenging supportive you know we are inclusive of all students we'll make sure that our teachers and our support staff provide help when it's needed we'll be responsive to your needs so that you can be secure and confident in your learning and you know your lessons will promote a range of skills not just knowledge um, and skills, but also qualities like independence and resilience and curiosity, all of which are very important. We are an iPad school, and if you come to IGS as an IGS student, you will have an iPad as part of your standard equipment in the same way that you would have a pen and a calculator, for example. Um, iPads are used at IGS as a learning tool to develop independent, inquisitive, computer literate 21st century learners. Um, teachers will use a range of apps in lessons to enhance and vary your learning and develop your knowledge in both creative and exciting ways. So, for example, you'll use your iPad to research independently, to demonstrate your answers, to create presentations, to take photographs to participate in interactive quizzes like Kahoot, to access your emails, to get feedback from your teachers and be able to upload work as well, and also to be able to collaborate with your friends. Um, because we're an iPad school, that also means there'll be opportunities if you want to develop um, and become an iLeader, a digital iLeader. And um, these are a group of students across the age group who were carefully selected because of their skills and enthusiasm for using digital media in lessons. Um, and as you can see from this third quote there, they are used to enable us to reduce the time spent on routine tasks um, so that more time can be dedicated to genuine learning. Every week, 
You'll also have what we call personal best time during extended registration, where our focus is on the skills and the qualities which will develop you as, for example, exceptional citizens through charity fundraising activities and opportunities to give back um, as successful students through enhancing skills like debating and presentation skills, as well as excellent friends. Um, de developing those qualities to enable you to be supportive and tolerant and kind. We'll celebrate your success uh, regularly. We have termly um, celebration assemblies um, and we also have a range of uh, trips and visits that I will also talk to you about in a little bit more detail very shortly. We give you at IGS so many opportunities to make a positive difference um, and you can see some of them on the screen here. Um, so last year, for example, as a school, we walked nearly 80 million steps uh, to complete a virtual walk around the world to raise money for a local family. Over £5,000 was raised for children in need. And on top of that, £6,000 was raised by our students um, as part of Charities Week to support a range of charities which were selected by the student body. Um, so they ranged from um, Cancer Support Yorkshire to Bradford Hospital's charity to the Clark um, Foley Centre, for example. We made donations to food banks. We worked together with Ilkley Great Get Together um, to provide Christmas and holiday hampers to families in our local community. We donated, I think, over 700 coats uh, to Refugee Action. Um, so again, that's an important part of what we're about here, that opportunity to give back um, and make a real difference to other people. And we'll monitor and support you to achieve your personal best through class charts. Um, we use class charts to award you positives for a range of achievements. That can be from excellent efforts to excellent resilience and participation um, to leadership to go in the extra mile. Your parents and carers will also be able to sign up to the app so they'll be able to see how well you are doing. Um, and when things go wrong, there are also negatives. Not going to dwell on that, of course, because you know everyone can make a mistake. But if we see that there are repeated issues, um, for example, with homework or with organisation or behaviour, then we can work in partnership with home to target support and get things quickly back on track. And your happiness and well-being are also really important to us. We've developed resources and a range of strategies to help students with self-care um, in the daily routines. We've also invested nearly £60,000 every year to provide mental health support through trained counsellors by the children's charity um, Place to Be. Uh, and again, you know, we really value um, the support that the councillors provide um, to help our young people. And at IGS you'll have lots of opportunities outside of normal lessons um, with so many clubs and activities in sport like football, rugby, basketball, netball, hockey, cross country, athletics, in the arts and in technology like drama club, musical theatre, pop and rock choir, um, as well as a coding club, a chess club, a geek club, menu masters, which is a cookery club, um, a German club and a French film club. So, you know, whatever your interest, there will be something new to try um, and more chances to build long and very lasting friendships. And we also seek to develop our students so that you do become leaders of the future. And this is something that is really important to us running through all the years of the school, right from the start in year seven. Um, there'll be numerous opportunities for you to develop your leadership skills, um, not only on the student council or the sports council, but also as subject ambassadors or as anti-bullying eye leaders, well-being eye leaders, um, environment eye leaders, digital eye leaders that I talked about earlier, 
um, library eye leaders. We even have our own model United Nations. Um, we've run that for the past three years where you can get the chance to step into the shoes of world leaders and research, debate um, and offer solutions to global issues. Um, and again, a whole wealth of opportunities there and a range of fantastic trips and visits. You know, in the UK, we offer the D of E Awards, um, circus skills down at the field, residentials to London and to the Lake District, as well as a team building day at Nell Bank within the first few weeks of you arriving um, at IGS. And our trips to London and to um, the lakes are part of our Challenge and Celebration Week, which is a fantastic week at the end of the year to celebrate everything that's been achieved. Um, and we also offer trips further afield, uh, languages exchanges, for example, to France and to Spain, geography field trips, including as far as Iceland, um, European and American ski trips, netball and rugby tours, cultural trips to places like Belgium and Germany, Poland and Switzerland. Um, and in addition for our older students, we actually take part in World Challenge, which provide extraordinary experiences um, for students, you know, really life changing, um, transformative um, experiences. And in 2022, we've actually got two exciting expeditions going, um, one to Eswantini and Kruger um, and the other one to Nepal. And planning is already underway for the 2023 trip uh, to Vietnam. Now, the World Challenge trips are financed by student fundraising. Um, they do raise money uh, in order for themselves to go on the expeditions. Um, but our wonderful PTA do provide bursaries for families who need financial help for educational trips so that all students can enjoy some of the experiences and opportunities that we do have on offer. So in summary, we believe that students at IGS genuinely flourish academically and in terms of their personal development. Um, we develop very successful students but what we offer is far greater than just academic success. And I genuinely believe this, not just as a leader of the school, but also as a parent with children in post 16 um, and also in year nine. Um, thank you for your interest in the school. I really hope to meet you very soon. Thank you.